Welcome back to On Contact. We continue our conversation about the Israel lobby with Ali Abu Nima and Max Blumenthal. So you were making the point before the break about how they twist the narrative uh, in terms of the press. And I, I think that what we see from the uh, documentary series is that in that they are often very effective. Well, just picking up where I left off, I mean, I was talking about them actually buying support where they have right. none. And, you know, you can see the echo chamber here clearly, but they also, there's also a really revealing scene at the conference of the IAC, which is the right wing of APAC, a Sheldon Adelson and Adam Milstein front, Israel America Coalition or conference. And um, Kleinfeld, the undercover reporter, goes to a seminar. Uh, which is off the record, and you have um, Israeli officials sitting on a panel complaining about African Americans and specifically young black Americans being the biggest crisis for Israel for the pro-Israel lobby. And this really shows. I mean, this casts uh, the Mark Lamont Hill firing by CNN and a really talented African American commentator who spoke at the UN and gave this rousing speech for Palestinian rights and lost his job. Cast it in a new light. The Atlanta consul of the Israeli embassy says, you know, we need to basically target African Americans and destroy Black Lives Matter. And she talks about buying the support of Clarence B. Jones, who is a former uh, lawyer to Martin Luther King, sort of a marginal figure in the civil rights movement, a paid counsel to Martin Luther King, and having him go around and say Martin Luther King would have supported Israel.